Well, it was just like, what, four or five years ago that it was officially announced that Marvel and Netflix struck that giant deal that literally like broke the internet. It was like, oh my God, can you believe what we're getting? And now that that deal more or less is wrapped up, those contracts have been filled up and now shows are renewal and stuff. A lot of people want to talk about the future of Marvel TV, specifically the MCU, you know, because everything's under that branch. So looking at it, most of the shows, actually, I think all the four main defenders have been renewed, right? Other than the actual yeah, defenders. Yeah. So that's awesome for them. Now, when we get talking about Marvel TV in the future, clearly there's a uh, few problem areas in humans looking at you. Uh, What's that? What's, I haven't heard of that. One. Oh, you haven't heard of the Inhumans? Okay, good. Yeah. Um, apparently, <laughs> if you look at the ratings, a lot of people haven't. So that's uh, uh, that's a thing. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, it's a hot garbage on there. So, <laughs> uh, but we also know that the New Warriors. Every time I forget to mention the show, so I, I was going to say I forget about that. Constantly. I literally forget about it every time. <laughs> I actually have it permanently written in the show notes. It's coming for every show, just to, <laughs> so I can remember my. Oh, don't so forget Flat Earth. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what else do we have? Um, Runaways and Cloak and Dagger is coming. Yep. Damage control is is still on the table. Apparently, yep. there's not it's kind and of there. Possibly, you know what? Another show that we don't know what it is. I'm super excited for Runaways, mostly for the fact that I can watch it actually because now I have Hulu. Um, so. Yeah, I'd love to be excited for the Runaways, but fuck Hulu. You don't get. Oh, you don't. We <laughs> can you the get it? Like uh, the only people that get Hulu is America. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like I was like, remember, I was like, oh yeah, they can't, right? You can. So well, well the reason I don't have Hulu is because I liked it when it was cheaper. <laughs> well, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, if you have Spotify Premium, you can actually get Hulu. I was actually Spotify. thinking about getting Spotify, but uh. I, I love Spotify Premium. It's only like five bucks a month, um, and it's I need a music place in Pandora. Not gonna do it for me. I don't like a radio, um, yeah, and I don't I have Apple, Pandora. so I don't have Apple Music. <laughs> what else is? But either way, Runaways, like from the pictures, look good to me. I'm, I'm excited. Super for that. high. Like so in the last like I don't know week and a half, my wife she was like, oh, what the hell's Runaways? You keep talking about this. I've seen a picture, so I just got her. Or I gave her my copies of all the trades, and she literally just, in like a span of a week, has read everything Runaways, like Addiction. I'm just like, yeah, it's like awesome. And I hope that they can transition that over well because with me, I feel like these more obscure properties like Runaways and Cloak and Dagger, I'm way more excited for than the stuff I know just because it's different elements, you know? Like, I'm, I'm getting sick of the whole everybody's a superhero with a leather outfit type of dealio that every show wants to do. It's just like, can we open up into different aspects? I mean, Cloak and Dagger and Runaway seem to be delivering upon that. It's not, it doesn't look the same, if that makes sense. You know, it looks different than what we see so far. When Apparently, not... our means getting possessed by a demon. Uh, How? Wait, what? <laughs> How's he be? Wait, what? Oh, man. No, it's, it's just sounding funky at my end. Oh, it didn't stop. You're, you're good on mine, but See, I was like so weird about it. It's, I'm being taken over by, like, I don't know, like, whoever the villain for Runaways is going to be. <laughs> I, you know, I need to go back and rewatch the trailer for Cloak and Dagger, but I remember I was excited for that one. Like, so. It should be a new trailer this weekend. That'd be cool. That's gonna it be should cool. be a first trailer for Runaways because, you know, fuck market in that show. Oh, yeah, they didn't actually put out a trailer. I forgot about that. I just want to um, see how old Lace is going to look. But that's not even until November, right? Yeah. That's next month, Joe. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not October. And I believe you're like, you, the way you went last, like, not even until November. But yeah, no, my bad. I yeah. believe since it is Hulu, they're doing the weekly thing. So every week you get one episode on Hulu, which I'm honestly mm. okay with because I, I don't want another dump of 10 episodes to watch. I can't handle that all the time, especially with Punisher coming and all these other <laughs> movies. It's like, that's too much at once, you know? So. I mean, it's only a day. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, but. A day's a day still. A day's a day. Uh, so what I mean, do you like guys it... want from the future of Marvel? Because like, there's some rumors that they might be announcing some stuff rather soon. Because even Marvel has teased it themselves. Like Jeff Loeb and Casada have been like, oh, you know, we're going to announce more stuff soon because we still have deals in place. So, I mean, I think the most obvious is Blade. I think they need to happen with that. I, I think 
you might get like a Marvel Knights Netflix announcement this weekend. That'd be because they have they have said that there's a new hero in Punisher. Yep. And no doubt they're going to show the first episode this weekend, and no doubt it'll come out the weekend after. So why not just jump jump ahead of the ball? Yeah. Why not have Blade in it? Yeah. Or Moon Knight. It's, it's nah, going to be Mark Spector mentioned or something. Yeah. Because like, like he, he was a Marine, so you might as well put him in with Punisher. And there's flashbacks to them overseas and stuff. I really wouldn't be surprised if at some point they're like doing an ops mid- mission in Egypt or something. They run into Mark Spector, and it's like, oh, we we see what you're doing, you know, like. That honestly would be pretty cool because I think Moon Knight and Blade are perfectly positioned for a series. I don't feel Ghost Rider is going to have his time, especially that ABC wanted to like cancel, you know, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, but fuck what ABC wants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no. Um, like, it's I like think, if Blade I got it, was like if Blade got the series, they could have just put uh, Robbie up, up with the Blade for a couple episodes. Hmm. Possibly. It depends on the contracts. Like, yeah. Where was the Ghost Rider show being thrown around? Was it on Netflix or was it on ABC? That's true. That's well, the important part. I mean, you can hope it was on Netflix, but then again, Netflix doesn't have all this money. So, like, people think Netflix is, like, unlimited funds. It's like, uh, no, they're actually, they haven't made a profit yet at all like they literally have no money so well they this is the thing. I, i'm not sure if i believe that 100 yeah. percent. You, you can't you can't go this long and spending this much money if you're not making a profit well it's, it's... like like they're not making enough of a profit to like announce it yeah but they must be doing something to keep going oh they got all that you know advertising money and stuff that they get which is probably offsetting it but it's Interesting when you look at Marvel TV, how it's so different. Like, there's so many different aspects that all click together. And when you look at it, you're like, well, I'm glad that they're figuring their stuff out and they're moving forward slow and steady because, yeah, how do I say this without sounding like an asshole? Um, I don't <laughs> want the, to say it. I don't want the CW effect to happen where out of nowhere you got like four TV shows and three of them feel the same. Like, yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you just I don't know you don't because there's there's four technically five with the animated show and then it's like that's three, an episode though. Uh, well, well, three of these like because Cloak and Dagger, Runaways, New Warriors, they're just coming out now. Yeah, and they're all like, gonna be different, which is what I want. Like I don't. I also you know the same thing. Over I mean, and over. just look at them; they don't feel the same. Well, they all well at least to all a, right, a broad right. aspect. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, yeah, let's do this. Aspect. How is a comedy? which is New Warriors, feel anything like Cloak and Dagger. Well, that's the one right. we haven't seen yet, so... Yeah, but we know it's going to be a comedy. Yeah, but that, I, I feel like you can better compare, like, Runaways and uh, Cloak and Dagger because we've at least seen but pictures even, even, like, and with teaser, stuff, I guess. Even with, like, the leaked stuff from the Runaways, it doesn't look anything like Cloak and Dagger. No, but I know, I know. That's what I'm just saying. Like, you can't... You also, you just can't compare um, New Warriors. But, you, yeah, uh, those two, like have this sense that it is going to be the more teenage stuff, but to differently, because one's going to be more mystery fight. Another one's going to be uh, like more of not survival. What's the word I'm looking for, but more like on the street, dramatic type of stuff. It's they're going to be different. Like one, one is like about like fat, like, well, they're both about family, but one I feel like is younger and they have more kids. Another one is just two and they have stronger powers, probably. So it's they they do feel different, yeah. Yeah, I I feel like that when I look at the landscape of Marvel TV, at least they're they're trying to cater to different things. And who knows, we might even see like the trailer or some sort of first image released this week for New Warriors because they've had the entire cast for like two months now. So. Yeah. They've when had is this supposed been to shooting. come out anyway? Yeah, there's nothing. Nobody knows anything. It's like fucking Phantom over there. <laughs> um, it must be next year or something. It has to be. You'd think. Yeah. Like, you can't delay it anymore, so I don't know. Oh. It's going to be a lot of Marvel TV next year. Oh, so. God, yeah, there is. Almost I'll also say much. that I do think that this, if you, especially if you talk to people, which you probably don't, who actually um, have, like watch all four of the shows, like a bunch of people, some would say like, they, they at least to there is one thing that difference like they're probably 60 70 percent similar but it's like 40 30 percent of something different because like 
some people don't like Arrow because of the way it's not like uh, Supergirl. Some people don't like Legends because of the way it's not like The Flash. Right. So. I think the There's problem is, like, difference. it's not that they're the same necessarily. Like, they're not the same show, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But they have the same feel, the look, the aesthetic, the jokes, Freak of the Week. Like, the Freak of the Week. They have the same overall, like, feel to them. Where you look at the Marvel shows, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., if you watch that and then you watch Daredevil, you would never know those take place in the same universe. Right. Because... It's that type of disconnect that they're trying to go for, which I honestly like more, and I'm hopeful that that's what they're going to be able to pull off with all these other shows. Is just make them distinct enough because like I, I st- nobody knows how the hell a comedy is going to work, right? Like that's ridiculous. But I, mean. I, I liked. I don't know when when I saw the shows last season, which I still think Arrow was the best one. Arrow definitely seems different than Supergirl in that sense. I don't know, it's just like one's way darker. And also one's way more street vibe-ish. Another one is more of the uh, hopeful cheesiness in um, in Supergirl, which people really don't like. Let's be honest. People really don't like that. So uh, that's fine. But I'm just It's saying because that. I think it's for kids. Like, it's mm. that I'm going to be an adult. I want to be mature. Well, it's also just really cheesy. And a lot of people just don't like cheesiness. Like, I don't think you like cheesiness, right? So I don't... I love cheesiness. I feel like we've had so many conversations that you just don't like cheesiness. No, I like cheesiness. I just don't like it when it goes overboard. Uh, well, I, I, I do. I'm the place for cheese. You have to like use cheese right. Like I think cheese Supergirl's the only oh, that's, Supergirl's the only <laughs> show out of those deep four shows that is cheesy. I guess the Flash could be a little bit, but not as much. The like Supergirl's is, the like, most. But Supergirl also feels to a degree like it's spun off from the Flash. You definitely get that same vibe. The team dynamic the way they move around like the whole oh yeah base. definitely like, like oh, that, that the... aspect of it yes they, they all have like a team which is so like and there's a scientist there's at least a one man there's one woman and it's mm-hmm. like they have that, the yeah. now yeah i also do yeah. want to I'm, I'm not like bagging on dc here alone marvel tv on netflix has the same problem you know that the first six episodes the hero is fine then seven eight and nine the hero is somehow hurt because they're saving oh, budget for the last couple episodes and then there's something that happens with the villain in the later half that gives you their backstory. It's the same thing over there, but at least like the checklist, yeah. Right, right. So it's like that makes me Mitch makes a good thing by saying that. That's a good word. Yeah, it's they each have their own thing. It. So I don't know. Maybe it's because I I do like the shows and I'm bound more to defend them than I am just to let them like be like that because I actually do find them entertaining. Even though I it's a love hate relationship between me and those CW shows because. I think they could be so much better, but I do find some, like, what I watch at some part. Sounds like Joe has Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, oh, it's like me and 2K, right? Tristan knows, like, everybody who loves that game hates it and loves it. Oh, because... And that's everyone yeah. got now. Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> yeah, that's what other games do. What, what's another, like, you know, it's, it's bound to happen. Mitch, I'm sure we're gonna. We're gonna uh, find I think you it, one. Well, if you go to, like the PC side, you probably have like World of Warcraft. Oh or, yeah, uh, oh, Dota. God. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna blink twice that The Witcher is holding me hostage, but I'm blinking twice. Like it's Stockholm <laughs> Syndrome. I'm blinking that game. twice too. It, it's it's crazy, but yeah. Um, Marvel DC TV. We'll talk more about them undoubtedly in the future, which you guys can also check out That's more it. of that it's on the TV podcast. Hey. Well, it, it it is to, uh, New York Comic Con this week, so True. it's like that is more of the TV. And it, it will be the TV one this time. Come on, yeah. tons of. New-